macaroni and cheese. I'm not. It, looks, it sounds a bit watery, I'll be honest. Oh no. What? Surely not. What's happening, people? Back in the kitchen again. And today it is Tuesday. So I'm going to start a little mini series, Budget Tuesday. I'm going to try and get like the proper cheapest food out there. I'm going to try a budget from all the different supermarkets. Uh, and because obviously we need everyone needs to live on a budget these days. It's uh, it's the cost of living is um, well, it's extortionate, let's be honest. But I won't go on about that because that's not my forte. My forte is eating food. <laughs> so let's start with this budget meal. Now, a lot of them are going to be like noodles or tins or frozen ready meals or something like that. Something that you can just easy, quick, and just like. And it's going to be cheap. Aim for under two quid every single one on these uh, this little mini series. Um, and we're going to start with this one, which is the cheapest thing I've seen since I was younger. Like this is macaroni and cheese, and this tin it says Bonner's finest macaroni and cheese. It's a tin, and it was fifty pence from Pound Stretcher. Fifty pence. Now it is four hundred and ten grams. Macaroni and cheese. I'm not. It, looks, it sounds a bit watery. I'll be honest. Oh no. Right. Let's uh, let's have a look at it. Oh. But <laughs> I love macaroni and cheese. It doesn't look watery on the picture. Let's have a look at the tin. So here is the tin. Bonner's finest macaroni cheese. So the suggestion just says bang it in a bowl and serve it. So there are the ingredients. 43% cooked macaroni pasta. You've got milk, wheat and mustard as the allergens. So it does say suitable for vegetarians. You can heat in the microwave or on the hob. I am just going to use a saucepan. Empty contents of can into a saucepan. And heat gently for five minutes, stirring occasionally. Do not boil. Do not boil. Wow. So the ingredients are there. No nutritional. Oh, yeah, there. That's the nutritional information. 380. Oh, no. 91 calories per 100 grams. Actually, not that bad for you. 91 calories per 100 grams. What is it for? I say 410. So 90, 180, 360 calories in this. Between three, six, and four hundred calories in this tin. I mean, I still can't get over that. But let's uh, let's open it. No ring pull, unfortunately. So we've got to get we've got to go old school and open the tin, and we've got a proper old tin opener. You see that just. <laughs> out there oh. oh dear oh my god oh my god it's gonna be on Oh my god, it smells like semolina. It smells like. Oh. It smells like rice pudding. What? Surely not. That's it. It smells like. Oh, honestly, it smells like rice pudding. It looks disgusting. Right. Boil five minutes. Not boil even. Oh my God. This might be an absolute nightmare, this. Ugh. So 
So it doesn't look like this is even thickening up to be a decent mac and cheese. It is. It's so watery. I mean, the cheese sauce, it's not even thick. It should be nice and thick. It's, a, it's a, just a terrible attempt at macaroni and cheese. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to just have a little taste. Although I don't want to. I'm just going to get a bit of the pasta. <laughs> it smells like rice pudding. It's very solid. It's not... <laughs> this... This sauce... Oh my god. Oh, burnt my mouth off. It's not very nice. What am I actually going to do? It doesn't taste very nice either. The mind... It's warm. It's too warm obviously. I'm eating it straight from the pan there, which is... A, it's daft, but it wasn't, it was very salty, but it wasn't very nice. I'm going to actually, I'm going to add some cheese to try thicken it up, cook the cheese in with it, try and make it better. That I would never, ever buy again on its own, ever. It was disgusting. But if it, that sauce thickens up, if it thickens up and makes and becomes more cheesy, because it just tastes like, it's like hot hot water, but like soggy rice pudding. It just I don't understand. Like semolina, I can't really get the taste of it. It's not like any mac and cheese I've had before. I love macaroni and cheese. And that it was it was poor. So let's have, let, let me add some cheese and then uh, we'll give it another go. I expect right. I wasn't expecting to have to add cheese. So all I've got is some grated cheddar. Um, so I'm just gonna. This might be an absolute waste of cheese, but <laughs> something has to be done if this is going to get eaten. This might not thicken it up at all, but I'm hoping it does. Thickens it up, makes it better. It cannot make it any worse. That's for damn sure. It already looks a damn sight better and thicker. That's what it really needs. It needs thickening up. It was like drinking water. It was like eating water. That's good. Let's get some more in. Suddenly, this is now probably a quid's worth of cheese gone in there. Do you know what? Some bacon bits in there. <laughs> Look at this now. It's more, looking a lot better already. Look at this. It's looking like a mac and cheese that you that you want to be eating. Look at this. Oh yes. Might I just saved this? I might have just saved this because it's nice and thick now. Look at that. Why they made it so runny? I suppose cheese is the expensive part, and if they're selling it for fifty pence a tin. They can't be adding this much cheese, can they? But that looks miles better. Right, let's taste this. So we'll give it a proper taste now. It's miles thicker, looks really much more like mac and cheese. Look at that. That's what you want from your mac and cheese. So, will it just, will it mask the flavour? Because it wasn't great flavour, that sauce, I'll be honest. Oh, wow. That has turned it around. Because it's cheese sauce, is so cheesy, it's now beautiful. Oh, then. Unbelievable, no? Wow. Mm. Mac and cheese is probably the best food ever.
bacon bits, mushrooms, this would be spectacular. Wow. Mm. That is cracking. Look at that. Mm. Well, I've saved the day. Not really a, a horrendous budget. That's a good, that's 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 up there with the Camden Market stuff I bought. Not really a tenner for a little tub. <laughs> cheese is unbelievable. Macaroni cheese. Wow. <laughs> that's mad. The difference a bit of cheese makes to that dish is ridiculous. When I shook that can. I didn't know what to expect and well I no I did. I thought this was gonna be absolutely dire. It was so watery, it definitely lacked cheese. The cheese sauce, what it was like a soup, like a water watery cheese, it was terrible. Added a load of cheese in. So the budget's gone up from fifty because cheese is not exactly cheap, but probably a quid's worth of cheese there. So he's looking at one fifty for this. But that is still a bargain. That is a budget bargain. Really happy with that, but definitely had the cheese. 50p for the tin, quid for the cheese. You're good to go. Eight and a half out of ten. Really nice. Thank you for watching. This is Budget Tuesday. This is going to be new. Every week, we're going to try a budget meal. And if I have to tweak it, I'll tweak it to make me eat it. <laughs> this could be a saying somewhere in there. Tweak it to eat it. Right. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, we're nearly at 500 people this now, uh, I think we're at 460, 456 or something. I'm getting there. I'll catch you, next video will be on Friday, for Fake Away Friday.